Okay, so now right in front of you there is uh, there is an equation, and uh, this equation very succinctly and very uh, accurately captures the relationship that we are trying to prove. We are trying to prove that the quantity demanded of any product uh, or of this hypothetical product, let's say product X, the quantity demanded of X depends on the factors that we had highlighted in the last video. Now what are they dependent on? Uh, they are dependent on, this is a coefficient which is um, calculated through the process of regression analysis. All right. Uh, I'll just uh, come back to this in a bit, but let's establish relationships here. The quantity demanded, and this is how you're going to interpret and read this, because the main thing here is the interpretation. All right. Uh, a lot of calculations can be done uh, with the help of software and stuff like that. But as a business manager, um, using economic concepts, you have to interpret the various data uh, in order to make decisions. That is the main challenge and that is what we are going to do. So first we need to read the equation and understand it. What does it mean? This is what they are trying to say. Quant quantity demanded of X is dependent on a number of factors. What is it dependent on? It's dependent on PX. All right. So what is PX? Px is the price of the commodity itself. So what are we doing here? We are in this equation, we are bringing together the price of the product and the non-price determinants of demand together in this one equation to prove that the quantity demanded of x depends on these things. So the quantity demanded of x depends upon the price of x, the price of the product, its own price. All right, so this is what it shows. It also depends on that's not the only factor. When remember when we were doing the uh, when we were doing the analysis uh, of movement along the curve, we said we were doing it citrus paribus. All other factors were constant, but in the real world, those other factors are not constant. We'll have to take the uh, um, we'll have to take the those other factors into account also the non-price determinants. So let's say that this product uh, has the demand for this product X is dependent upon the price of a substitute product which in this case is sugar but let's say substitute product so it is also dependent upon the price of another product so that other product features here all right it is also dependent on the income of the consumers now this is the non-price determinant all right so the quantity of X this is this is uh, uh, you know the, the the income of the producer. The quantity of X is dependent upon the income of the consumer. So P X represents price of the commodity itself. That's here. Uh, P X uh, means the price of the commodity itself. P S means the price of the substitute commodity, which in this case hypothetically we call sugar. We we've taken it to be sugar, and then it depends upon the income of the consumer. It depends upon the price of related some related commodities right maybe maybe in this case the complement so we are going to say py all right and another factor which determines demand is advertising a lot of things we purchase we purchase because uh, because we do it under the influence of advertising so this is these are the various factors that have an impact and these factors are shown here in this particular equation so th this is one equation right this is one equation this this is for one particular commodity the study has been done and there can be now there can be another commodity which is dependent let's say not on the price of uh, sugar but maybe on the price of uh, maybe on the on, on, a, on a completely different factor maybe lifestyle maybe on population so you will take population here instead of let's say the price of sugar but whatever factors you're taking they can be represented in the form of a of an equation all right and uh, and of course yeah this this thing this is the coefficient coefficient um, of uh, 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 this is the coefficient which has been calculated through a regression analysis what it very simply means is that if all these factors 
are zero, all right, if, if all these factors are zero, still the quantity of x which is demanded will be equal to a certain uh, quantity and that quantity will be determined by this particular coefficient. All right, so this, this is the equation right in front of you and you can, uh, similarly, you can think up of other factors and do your own ana analysis, uh, your product that you choose, what are the factors that determine its demand and they can be expressed in terms of uh, an equation like this. All right, so thank you very much.